forgot to talk. Hey, Don here. So, um, well, that's what happens if you don't do anything to interrupt it. Okay, so went to my hirons boot menu just fine. Um, so I'm going to go into win mini XP again. And, uh, just let it boot up. That part works fine, but I didn't have the whole hirons menu, and so... And I didn't have the icons that say, you know, set up the network and stuff. So I don't know if that was because some of that wasn't compatible with this motherboard, this ASRock motherboard, or if it's because uh, it's a little new for XP. And uh, <coughs> so I couldn't tell where I was at. I was looking at my screen. But it sometimes, iron, for some reason, it'll just do that uh, when you boot. It up, it'll not show all the menus, and then if you reboot, they'll end up working next time. So you know, might, probably just some sort of error in the reading the uh, the ISO that it didn't uh, didn't show up to call you know show a throw an error. On it. But uh, it actually was made to be a boot CD, and uh, but some of these programs like Easy to Boot will can boot it. And I did see a while ago when I was trying to make React OS boot that there was different options to make Iron's boot CD work if it wouldn't work and stuff, so it may end up needing something like that to work right. Then, But then again, like I say, this is a pretty much newer motherboard than XP, you know, so it just may not work with all the hardware on here. And I have a feeling... <coughs> I mean, well, if you're into a virus scan, you need a network connection. But, uh, oh, there we go. Install all hardware. I'll try that. See if it'll install the network and all that. I'm going to see if i got a network before I go anywhere else. See if I've got, I'll try the, uh, somewhere there's a, I'm not even seeing the uh, little web browser as Oprah, I think. It's not all there. That's a little weird. See over here on the right, you should have not that. That's my uh, SD card, which has my files on it and everything. What I'm booting from, too. <coughs> but uh, I'm not seeing the Hirons boot menu, so. Um, yeah, I don't even see. Th uh, I guess they don't come up if you, if a Hirons boot menu doesn't finish loading. Yeah, so none of my applications that comes with Hirons are going to be there. Let's see if it's on the network, my local network. I'm not able to browse. Well, it wouldn't be able to browse my network because it's not set right, you know. If I can't even test the internet, then I'll go back. Okay, a minute ago I could see my... Uh, I don't think I see it this time. I think it was D drive, D C. Now it was D was my. Uh, that's the C D drive this time. Now it doesn't see my um, S D card, which it's booted from. That's really strange. Huh. Microsoft Windows Network. Temp part of the. This is uh, the Hirons local. That's all actually running in memory. Oh wait, this is my uh, Windows 7 drive. Yeah. So I mounted that. Can't get in that drive for some reason. My documents and settings. Access denied. I think it said. Yeah, that's in my Windows 7 drive. It'll go in from there though. Okay, so I could scan it just fine. So what I was going to try to do is like use an online virus scanner. That I have them already, on, but I can't even see my SD card this time. So when you're trying to do other things besides running what comes with it, it's a little tricky. Doesn't always hit and miss whether it works anyway. Hmm. I had to reboot this time. I'll try one more. <coughs> I got. I kind of didn't expect it to really work anyway, because I really don't remember too many apps that will run, because they need to. Uh, they usually need some deal files that's not in Hirons, or maybe some .NET framework or something that's not in there. 
but uh, there's another option in here in this uh, easy to boot menu that can give you more uh, it's called advanced I think <coughs> if I can remember how to get into it then go down here to my windows I put it in the windows folder since it was uh, see okay I'm gonna hit higher and so I'm gonna hit the arrow key to get it to stop now, I don't know if this is where I get to do it or not but I'm gonna try F8 no I won't do it so I'll hit no this time I think that's what makes it boot right anyway okay let me get it paused now see if F8 will work in here no nope. once you get into this menu I don't know I got into it from react OS it was you hit F8 at the right time and you'll get into an advanced easy to boot menu and then you can select different things to help things to work but uh, instead of just going right back in there I'll kind of go part of magic 2012 was on there those programs a bunch of those memory diagnostic mem test x86 Ch password changer com boot which is a password changer too I think for Linux that one is for Windows and all that you know uh, Seagate Disk Wizard, Plot Boot Manager, you can block to get it to boot to a different, like if your machine won't boot to USB, you can get it to do it. Smart Boot Manager, another one. Uh, fix NTDLR, NTLDR is missing, which I've never actually had it work for me, but it's there. Drake's Boot and Nuke, never want to use that. Oh. Wanted to erase the hard drive and then uh, HPD Customizer. Oh yeah, that's for customizing and adding apps to it and stuff. And then I went on down to the next row, and then there's all there's all those aren't there, but it I don't know why it has always it always like that it always has a bunch of I guess that's just in case boot Windows XP T NTDLR from the hard drive Vista Seven Boot Manager reboot shutdown customize hirons again so anyway the only thing I'm interested in right now is the hirons. I hit the arrow key to see if I could see a command line, but it doesn't work in this XP. So um, usually if you hit a key during boot uh, with Linux systems, you can see the command line instead of the graphic. It doesn't work in Windows. I, c I didn't think it would. I wasn't sure. I think you have to go into, like in Reactor, they call it debugging mode. I think they call it something else in XP. I can't even remember anymore. But so, if my Hirons menu doesn't come up, then there's not much I can do with it anyway. But that advanced boot options had some different special things just for Hirons to make things work. I don't remember it saying anything about the Hirons apps menu, though. And I don't think that it's just a matter of waiting, because I was fooling around there for a while. It usually comes up pretty right at, right at the beginning, you know. But for some reason, it's not completely loading. I don't really know why, so there's no use in fooling with it anymore. All you have is you have your device manager and stuff. USB hardware. I clicked on install all hardware. And I didn't have my SD card. Disk management. I might have been in to go in there and get it to mount the SD card. Show USB hidden drives after plugging. Got a control panel and just, just that's all. It ha and this side, that's all you usually do have. Is, well, there might be. Well, I think the web browser usually shows up over there. But uh, it's again. No, I don't know why the first time it saw my SD card and this this time it doesn't. Uh, my SD card and the USB adapter. So, I'm just going to say that's not good for anything. So I'm going to shut it down and get out of it. Okay, so uh, I'll probably end up putting a uh, another rescue ISO on there and just scanning this thing for viruses. I think I'll...